Hey, what's going on, guys? I almost said it's Punky J, but it's Punk Rock Jared. Uh, Punk Rock Jared from now on. No longer with the Punky J shit, so hope you guys are enjoying these little tweaks I'm making. Uh, it's not really a whole lot, but uh, yeah, anyways. Um, I'm going to try to get my punk jacket I have in my garage. It's uh, somewhere hidden beneath all the mess and the rats. Uh, I have a messy garage, but yeah, I got a punk jacket. I'm going to start wearing that, and who knows, man. I might even grow back a mohawk. If I'm feeling punk enough, you guys might have to support me, but I might just grow back my mohawk. Uh, like my video if you want me to have a mohawk. But anyways, um... So yeah, let's talk about the difference between being a fighter and a brawler. Because I got some martial st uh, art stuff on my videos. I like talking about, you know, this kind of shit. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this, guys. So what's the difference between a martial artist, you know, and a brawler? Or you could even say a fighter and a brawler. I think that's probably a better way to say it. Um... There are some very, very crucial differences, and I want to tell them to you guys, okay? Number one, the difference between a fighter and a brawler is a fighter does not have an ego. He does not need to, you know, prove himself to anyone. He fights only if his life is in danger or someone that he loves. A brawler, on the other hand, does have an ego. He's very uh, enveloped with pride just completely consumed in it and you know uh, uh, is willing to fight if his pride is questioned that's the main difference between being a fighter and a brawler now there are a few more differences um, a fighter fights with honor you know he does not do little bitch moves um, he is not you know, uh, someone who goes overkill, like the UFC, you know, <laughs> fighting someone when they're down. That's not what a real fighter does. That's what a brawler does. You know, a, a brawler will pull bitch moves on you. He'll hit you when your back is turned. But a real fighter doesn't need to do that. As a matter of fact, you know, with a lot of fighting styles that I'm into, a close-handed punch really isn't even that necessary. Sure, it's good to have, you know, as an arsenal, I like to say, as a tool at your disposal. But um, I practice a lot of Baji Kwan, made famous by Akira Yuki, the video game character. And it's called Baji Kwan because Baji means rake, open hand, which looks like a rake. Uh, and you can, you know, you can, uh, that's another thing, is you don't have to heavily brutalize someone to put them on the ground. You know, brawlers, they think that you have to completely brutalize someone to win a fight. But that's that's not what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to hurt them enough so that, you know, they can't get back up and fight you. That's all it is. And that's another key difference. But yeah, like I was saying, though, with open hand fighting, um, not a lot of people realize this. But you can easily knock a person out simply with your palm. And I'll tell you guys how to do that. Uh, basically, it's just hard strike very you really want to you know open up your palm to make it hard but hit it right in the forehead the reason why is because it's going to send waves of energy throughout the brain and that's actually what makes a person unconscious it's those those waves of energy and um you know people don't realize that because a lot of people like to brawl but you can still be how should i say uh honorable in your fighting and it, but look i'm not saying that you shouldn't use your fists but the point i'm trying to make is you know you don't have to be all ufc about it you know fighting someone a lot of times people go down simply after the first or second punch uh with baji kwan <laughs> the creator baji kwan his name escapes me but uh, he has a famous saying that uh i don't know what it's like to hit a person twice and that's pretty cool because they use so much force and thrust in their attacks. It's not just like simple punching. They really, it's like a push thrust when they attack. But uh, so I guess I'm saying that a real fighter fights with honor. And you know, the cool thing about that too is like if you really know how to fight and how to hurt somebody easily, you don't even have to put that much effort into it. You know, there's a lot of famous YouTube videos on here of 
people doing all these cool looking twirls and gymnastics but in reality that that's not what fighting is i mean it's cool but you shouldn't even have to give your enemy that like how should i say that much pleasure in knowing you're trying to hurt them you see what i'm saying you shouldn't even have to give them that kind of pleasure you know the best way to beat an enemy is is to show them that you barely even have to do anything to put them on the ground i mean that to me is the best fighter but anyways guys i just thought i'd make this video uh because i believe in being an honorable person you know not a brawler uh not one of these mma guys that doesn't practice the principles you know of respect integrity uh things like that you know because uh <laughs> Look, I'm just going to be real. I'm not a fan of MMA. Um, I think it's really actually quite cancerous to the martial arts community. But I'm not going to judge, you know, people who do it. If you all practice MMA, that's your own thing, man. You know, more power to you. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video. This is Punk Rock Jared. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And remember, guys, it takes a bigger man to walk away from a fight than to engage one.